Today we're adding that tiger and color grading everything. Hey there, my name is Ali and this channel is all about, in, about getting you professional in Photoshop. So let's get started. We'll pull our first photo. These photos, you can find them in the description. And the second photo, I'll pull it alone. First, I'm gonna take that photo. I don't like it's like too, the length is too high and the width is too low. So I'm gonna hit the crop tool, make it a little bit smaller from up and down and stretch it from that side actually a little bit something like that okay but now we have a problem i'm gonna use my magic wand tool first unlock the background layer by clicking on the lock then i'm gonna select that white area then i'm gonna go to pressing shift and backspace it will open the fill uh, place make sure it's on content aware and press ok this is like an automatic way for Photoshop to fix like empty areas. It works if it's like a simple background like that. It filled it with exactly what's around it. Okay. Now let's go to the tiger. I'm going to cut the tiger by using the quick selection tool. It's better if you do it by the pen tool. It will be more accurate. But now just like I'll do it fast way using this quick selection method. So I'm just going to make selection around it. Yeah, something like that. If you want to increase, just hold shift and add the places you want to add. And if you want to cut some places, I'm just going to hold alt and cut some of the whites I don't want. Okay, now I'm going to mask it out. It's not like good yet, so I'm going to go to select and mask. Then using the refine edge tool, I'll make the background actually white. Because like our background here on the other one is almost white. So let's work with white. That's too like strong. I'm going to press Ctrl Z. I'll make it smaller. I'll just refine the edges very softly like that. I'm using the refine edge tool actually. Yeah, and I'll just draw on the edges of the tiger. And it should fix it. That one, I don't like it. I'll press Ctrl Z. It went too strong with the effect. Just very barely on the edge. It might be a little bit slow, but it's okay. Just like, let it take the time. Okay, then I'm gonna press OK. Then I'm gonna drag that tiger, put it in our photo. But obviously, I'll, pre I'll press Ctrl T first. I'll make it smaller a little bit, then right click, flip horizontal. And I want to put my tiger somewhere like that. A little bit larger, okay. Okay, now we have our tiger, I'll make him a little bit smaller. Yeah, I guess something like that is good. Okay, now I'm gonna close the layer and make a copy of it. So we have two copies. One, just in case anything wrong happens, I'm gonna stand on that layer. Using the quick selection tool, I'm just going to make a selection around the mountains. Then I'm going to stand on the tiger, stand on the mask layer. Then using a black brush, not a black brush, I'll just paint using alt backspace. It will delete these areas. Now I'm going to take my blur tool. And on the layer mask itself, I'm just going to blur the edges a little bit. This is on the mask, so it's not like a very sharp cut or not a very sharp edge. Okay. One more thing I want to do, actually, I want to make the tiger bigger, but this will cause some trouble, so I'll just leave him as it is. So it's okay. Okay, let's like forget about this tiger for a second, and now I'm going to add a new layer on top of this one. Take an orange brush, and then I'll make it like big strong opacity and i'm just gonna add one click here maybe another like big click like that i'll change that to screen mode doesn't really make the effect 
soft light not also okay overlay is the best i made it into overlay mode now we have like some sort of orange light coming from here now i'm gonna bring back my tiger now we need to blend the tiger actually with the environment it looks fake this one actually is so faded the black is like it's so gray so to fix that i'm just gonna press ctrl m and pull this down a little bit so it will make like the bl the gray areas a lot bl blacker okay now i'm gonna stand on the tiger layer i need to get rid of like the problems here so i'm gonna use a brush use just a, like a soft small brush and with a black color i'm just gonna paint around the edges here and there just to fade out these areas and that area in the middle which was the snow from the old photo okay now we're good i see some i don't know what that line is oh it's with the original photo so we can't like i want to fix that line if you see it i'm gonna go to the clone stamp tool then i'm gonna hold alt here to sample from this area then i'm just gonna pull all the way no it made it worse so <laughs> I'm gonna hold alt click here click here then hold shift and click here hold shift and click here now we're done with like that line okay now to blend the tiger even more basically we just want like to add a layer on top of him hold alt make sure it's linked to the tiger using a white brush I'll use a cloud brushes actually I will link them in the description with a very low opacity I'm just gonna add some white like that on the tiger then i'm gonna mix up use another brush no that's too strong L lower the opacity add some white here and there use another one make it big low opacity and just fade out a little bit of the tiger just creating some sort of like clouds or fog in front of the tiger so the tiger seems like he's blending with the environment okay one more thing we need to do i'll go to hue saturation the tiger is so colorful compared to the environment so i'm just gonna reduce the saturation a little bit okay then the last thing i'm gonna stand on the layer mask itself now i'm deleting from the tiger i'll delete a little bit of areas using the black like if i make it 100 percent opacity i'm just erasing completely but I'm gonna use just a very subtle opacity and just delete a little bit of the tiger here and there so that it seems like the clouds are somehow overlapping the tiger I will delete it gradually like I'll explain let me just like take something like that okay like this area it should be like deleted the most because it's far away from the camera the more far away something is the more fog will get between your eyes and it and this area should have like the most clearance it should be the clearest because it is the closest to the camera so i'm gonna stand on the tiger layer and with the black color and just a brush i'm just gonna erase low opacity just gonna try to erase a lot at the back erase like middle in the mid like in the middle i'll not erase very strong something like with a very low opacity something like that and then the front i'm not gonna erase anything maybe i'll just lower the opacity of everything just a little bit so it blends a little bit better i want to erase actually a little bit from down here i'll take my cloud brush again and just erase um, i keep on pressing click actually because i'm on a very low opacity so one click if one click is not enough just keep pressing click till you get the effect you want yeah some something like that okay okay i guess now we're done with blending the tiger now we need to like color grade everything together so i'm gonna stand on top of everything go to the curves adjustment layer i'm gonna pull my blacks up a little bit then i'm gonna pull my mid tones down something like that and then i'm gonna take actually the bright areas and i'm also gonna pull them down a little bit this will fade my entire photo but now i'm like now this area is too strong i'm gonna just lower the opacity of this one it became like too strong it's not good looking a little bit fake okay 
Now what I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna add a curves adjustment. Now I'm gonna pump up the highlights a lot, something like that. Then I'm gonna go to the reds, add a lot of red. Then I'm gonna go to the blue, add a lot of blue to the highlights. It looks horrible, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on this, press Control I. It made it completely black. So now if I paint white on it, the effect will start to appear. I'll show you with 100%. This will happen. It will add like brighter and orange color. So now I'm just gonna take a lower opacity and I'm just gonna add some like brightness and color to my photo. I'll even lower the opacity more. Something like that. Like we have some sort of a, like a clouds with the color orange. This will add a lot of interest to our photo. Okay, you see the before, the after. Okay, now I'm gonna color grade everything together. I'll go to the curves. I'm gonna go to the blue. I'm gonna add a little bit blue to the shadows. Then I'm gonna go to the red, add a little bit cyan to the shadows. Then I'm gonna go to the red, I'll stay on the red, add some red to the highlights. Then I'm gonna go to the blue, add some yellow to the highlights. Okay. Now what this did is, it added some sort of color to our image Like some contrasting colors which will add some interest to our photo One thing I wanna do, I'm gonna stand on the tiger layer Let's go to the sharpen tool actually I'll make it smaller, I'll just sharpen the eye a little bit So it's like more clearer And then we have something called the sponge tool next to the dodge and the burn it's you can choose desaturate or saturate make sure it's saturate and it's vibrance and with like something like 80% just click on the eye and move around it will make it more colorful so now we have the eyes like more sharper it will attract even more okay looking good already I'll delete a little bit of the legs here I'll use a brush and black color and I'll just delete I'll increase the opacity a little bit so you do it faster and just fade the legs a little bit so like it's standing completely in fog okay now we're like looking good the final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new layer I'm gonna take my gradient tool I'm gonna take some sort of a yellow orange color I'll take a bright one actually something like that then I'm gonna pull from here from top right and from just like the right area I'm just gonna draw some orange and then I'm gonna take I'll do a very like long one like that another very long one then I'm gonna take a blue or cyan color dark and I'm gonna do the up oh wait I have to change first then I'm gonna do the opposite and then I'm gonna change that to overlay but wait the cyan needs to be a lot darker I guess something like that yeah, then I'm gonna change to overlay. So now it seems like from here we're having orange and from here we're having blue. It adds a lot of interest to our photo. I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit if I if I like if I feel it's too strong. Okay, one more thing we could do. We could just take a very bright orange color or maybe yellow. Use a brush, just a normal circle brush, something like that. And I'm just gonna press few clicks like that okay now we have the very bright yellow I can change the mode to screen mode and I can put it something like that maybe let's try overlay or screen no I guess screen is a little bit better we can actually press ctrl j to duplicate it and make one of them overlay and the other one is screen and just click them both reduce the opacity okay so now we have like it seems like some sort of a light coming here okay now I'm gonna hold control alt shift then press E everything is now merged into a new separate layer it's control alt shift E okay now I'm gonna go to filter camera raw filter now we're editing everything together in one go okay what I want to do here is uh, let's try lowering the highlights or the whites maybe just lower the whites a little bit and the highlights so we get more detail in the sky uh, I don't know if we could add something I actually like that a lot I'll do something with it but not now I'll increase the clarity a little bit it will make everything clearer I'll increase also the vibrance a little bit it will add like color to the photo but don't go like 
too extreme with it. Then I'm gonna go to the dehaze menu. This will either add fog or remove, remove fog. If I remove fog, everything will be clearer. But the purpose of this fog too is to look foggy. I guess this should be better. I don't know. Okay, I'll just leave it as it is. It's good like that. I'm gonna add a little bit of vignette. And I'm gonna go to the camera calibration. I like to play around with the colors to see how they will look like in this or that. This or that. Just to see like, I like this actually. I'll add a little bit of this one and a little bit of this one. It will make everything like more red instead of orange. So this is like the before camera row and after. Okay, now I'll do one more thing. I'm gonna go to camera row filter. I'll show you something called a graduated filter. I'm gonna take that one. It's called graduated filter. Then just make sure everything is zero before you start. I'll make the exposure zero just to show you what it does. It just like you make some sort of a graduated filter with anything you want. So I'll make something like that, but then I'll brighten this area and make it more yellow. So this area is like having more yellow and brighter. I'll press OK. So this is what it did. Then I'm going to go again to filter, camera row filter. I'm going to pull. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go again to graduated filter. But now instead of brightening, I'll make it to zero. And I'll make the temperature to blue instead of yellow. And now I'll pull from the opposite direction. Maybe like that. So now I'll make from everywhere like some sort of blue instead from that area which the sun should be coming from. That's too strong. Okay, I'm good with that. And okay. So now we have some variety of color which are contrasting colors. A blue from that side, orange from that side. Okay, I'm gonna press F. Press F again. Okay, it's going really slow. Okay. That's it for today's tutorial. Guys, if you want to add any like questions or suggestions, make sure you put them down in the comments. Make sure you follow and subscribe this channel if you want to see like more amazing videos. Thank you.